Hello, welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate your interest in uh, in the subject matter and what we do here. So thank you very much. Uh, if this is your first time, please use your closed caption feature. I, uh, as a result of having throat cancer a num number of years ago, uh, my voice can be difficult to understand. I'll do my best to enunciate it, but closed caption is the way to go. That way you won't miss anything because of the quality of my voice or lack thereof. All right, manners maketh the man. Okay, if you're gonna be a Renaissance man, your manners must be perfect. So we're gonna talk about that. This is, I think, my second video on the subject. There will be more. There's such, such a wide ranging subject that uh, this will take a while to cover everything that I can think of that you might need to know as far as uh, manners needed by a gentleman, by a Renaissance man. Okay, the golden rule. Be respectful. Treat others as you would like to be treated. If you do this, uh, your life is gonna be much better. You're gonna have uh, closer friends. People are gonna like you better. It's just a good thing. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Doesn't matter who it is, could be a boss, could be a server at McDonald's. Doesn't matter. Treat them as if you were in their position. How would you like to be treated? This is important. Think about that, please. Okay. Uh, a lot of these come from really military experience. So if those of you that were in the military, a lot of these will be, oh yeah, of course, of course I do that. Because you were told and trained to do that in the military. But regardless of where these came from, uh, these are manners that you need to have as a gentleman. So for example, remove your hat indoors. When you go into a building, remove your hat. It's uh, mandatory in the military, but it's just a polite thing to do. So you enter a building, remove your hat. I, mean, I see people all the time at restaurants and church, for example, which is crazy. They leave their hat on. Uh, rude, it's just rude. Don't do that. Take, remove your hat when you walk into a building. Uh, be polite, sir and ma'am. We've talked about this. So important. Again, if you have military experience, this is ingrained, it will come naturally. If not, you're going to have to work on it. But you refer to anyone older than you or anyone in a position of authority uh, as sir or ma'am. Yes, sir, no, sir. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Uh, again, the response you will get will be uh, incredibly positive. People appreciate this. So get in the habit of doing this and you'll, you'll like the results, I promise you. Sir and ma'am. All right, open doors, pull out chairs. All right, so we've talked about this before. So some women, though I have run into very few, some women are offended by you opening the door for them or you pulling out the chair for them. Most women love it. Let's go with that. Most women love it. Um, so, could not only be women, if, 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 if it's a man and his hands are full, or he's struggling, perhaps it's an older person, open it all for him. Why not? All right? Again, it'll make you look good. It'll make you look like a Renaissance man. Um, when you're sitting down at a table for a restaurant, for example, You'll stand up, pull out the chair for the lady you're with, and kind of help her get settled, and then you go sit down. Uh, so this is, again, uh, manners that a, a Renaissance man would know about and would use. Uh, there's a, another meeting that uh, perhaps I should mention, but for me, I uh, do not sit with my back to a door. I've talked about my, my martial arts training in the past, my military training. Uh, I feel very uncomfortable with my back to a door. I want to be able to see, see who comes in and out. So I will sit the lady down in a, in a position at the table where I can then sit where I am more comfortable when we be facing the, uh, facing the entrance. Okay, still a polite thing to do. You don't have to mention to your girlfriend or your wife. That's why you're doing it. They'll appreciate you just doing it. So pull out a chair, 
for uh, for a lady. Um, have good table manners. Talk about being at a restaurant and have good table manners. This again is a subject that is wide ranging, also specific but pretty wide ranging. And I'm going to do a video on this uh, alone. There's just too much to cover. So look forward to that table manners for, uh, for a Renaissance man. Be aware. Be aware. So uh, have at least a cursory knowledge of local, national, and international events. So a Renaissance man is aware of these things. Of course a Renaissance man knows about what's going on, uh, what the hot topic, topic is in, in your city, or uh, what's going on in a national scene, or what happens overseas. Of course a, a Renaissance man would be aware of those things and have some knowledge so that if it comes up in conversation, you can be a, uh, you can respond in a positive way, in a way that people will respect because you will have done some research. You'll have looked into it. You'll have developed your own ideas about what's going on. So easy to do, easy to do. Got the internet, got television, easy to do. Local newspapers. Doesn't take much time, but you need to be at least aware of those kind of things. Because a Renaissance man would be. Okay, handshake. Well, I don't know if we covered this before, but handshake is really important. Uh, number one rule, never shake a hand while you're sitting down. Never shake a hand while you're sitting down. Stand up to shake someone's hand. Man or woman, doesn't matter. But shake yourself. Obviously, you don't want a limp handshake. Oh, awful. Person that has no, no strength in their hand, limp. It makes it, Gives you a very negative uh, attitude towards that person. On the other hand, you don't want to shake someone's hand and uh, they think their hand is a vice grip. And they think it's probably amusing to see if they can break any bones in your hand. Some men are like this. I understand. Uh, I suspect it's a feeling of inequity, inequity uh, or who knows. Don't do that. Don't squeeze someone's hand so hard that uh, it's noticeable. Just a firm handshake. That's what you want, a firm handshake. Not a vice, not a limp, firm handshake. Okay. Uh, be on time. It's a big thing for me. Uh, it's been very useful all through my life. So, uh, again, the saying goes, it's better to be an hour early than a minute late. Okay, don't be late. If you tell someone you're going to be there, you're a Renaissance man, you're responsible, you will be there. You'll be there on time. All right, be on time, don't be late. Let it go to voicemail. Something I hadn't thought about, but I saw this recently, and I thought, yeah, it makes sense. So if you're in a meeting, at a restaurant, uh, social or business, doesn't matter, and your phone rings, let it go to voicemail. voicemail. So unless you're a doctor and um, the president is one of your patients, it's not that important. Let it go to voicemail. Um, listen to it later. Take whatever action you need to do. But it's very rude to be on your phone, whether texting or, or voice. Very rude to do that uh, when you're with someone else or you're at a meeting. Very rude. Don't do that. Let it go to voicemail. Uh, so that the person you're with knows that they're more important than whatever this random phone call might be. Okay, there's a few things for you to think about. I, um, again, this subject matter will cover probably many times in this series. Uh, because there's just so much, so much to cover. Things I, I have forgotten today and will think of for, for next time. So uh, that and the video for table manners, something we, we need to look at. It's just, uh, Unless you are, have grown up in a, a situation where formal dinners are uh, not an odd thing, there'd be no reason for you to know these things. No reason for you to know these table manners. You got a fork, you got a knife, you got a spoon. What else do you need? But uh, table manners are very important. Again, are something a Renaissance man would absolutely know about in practice. We'll cover that in another video. All right. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate your interest in, in this subject matter and in, in my videos. Uh, I appreciate it very much. I'm having a blast doing this. It's just great. 
uh, like and just subscribe, please. Hit like for me, and please hit subscribe. Pass this information along. Share it with uh, men that you think might find this information useful. That's why I do this. All right, so thank you so much, and uh, God bless.